Greetings gamers, it is I, Frost Gamer! Coming to you back for Death Battle Reactions! Today is, is July 3rd, or the pre-day of July 4th. Or, our celebration of fireworks, 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 liberty, and fame. Aim of history. And with at the pre day of July fourth, or, or what better way to celebrate that than a star battle? Well, before our fourth of July, that's right. The big stars are are in for finding each other. Heard today, hey gamers. This death battle episode is of Johnny Cage from Mortal Kombat versus it's F Zero's. All star and champion pilot is Captain Falcon. <laughs> I must say, when I saw how those two who paired up had to fight each other, I was surprised. Really. I'll give credit, Death Bow is definitely becoming more, more unpredictable. Well, this season. Can't give any more reasons why we're gonna top 10. Anyway, hey, hey, I know a little of F Zero. I tried the game once. I kept crashing my death. Yeah, racing games like that are not my thing. Hey, hey, Johnny Cage. Hey, however, I know plenty of that guy. Hey, from what I know, oh, the guy, he's a self ego guy. But after growing up, what is he? In, in so much death of and destruction and it was clear here here Johnny grow up up and in alternate timelines Johnny has has grown in many ways one way hey hey as we all know he has a daughter with Sonia blade <laughs> nice guess Johnny and some funny fatalities too. But what from what I do know of Captain Falcon, he's a fast fighter. Moves quick, it fights quick, has a long charge. Or Falcon Punch. How he gets those powers is still a mystery. Hey, but Daddy Sakurai, I called it it for a reason. So, with that said, it there's much to offer in this game. Games, games, and now we're gonna see both games genres of stars fighting each other to death. <laughs> Who will win this fight? Well, one way to find out, and that's to hit play. Today we've got data on basically everything we want to learn about, and with 23andMe, this includes your own traits and something to do with your gene. Your gene dot. That's death battle. Yeah, finally I don't know. Okay. Whether it be to save the world or to benefit themselves, every warrior has a different reason for fighting. But when they're also a kick-ass celebrity, all that matters is they bring the hype. Johnny Cage, hey. the stuntman turned legendary hero of Mortal Kombat. And Captain Falcon, the racer turned bounty hunter on the track of F-Zero. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. Hey. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Ooh, I that. Makes sense. Mortal Kombat is a deadly tournament dictated by the Elder Gods to decide the fate of entire worlds. Its contestants only include the best of the best. Whether you're a forearm beast intent on conquest, a ninja assassin seeking vengeance, or a washed up Hollywood movie star looking for your next big break, Johnny Cage was a global <laughs> phenomenon known for his over the top and dumb as hell action flicks. You're dumb as hell! His movies are wow, awesome! That's a long we got list. Ninja Mime, Citizen Cage, Broke Nose Mountain, and my personal favorite, Tommy oh. Scissorfist. Wait, that's uh, his real name? It's the only movie that ever really made me cry. But as with most celebrities, Cage's fame eventually cracked. Audiences lost interest in his stunts, and critics claimed he was a fraud. Which is bullshit! 
So to prove himself, Johnny naturally decided the best idea would be to join the deadliest martial arts tournament ever. What better way to stick it to him and show him you're the real deal than to save the Earth from an alien takeover? I guess. Cage didn't really it's know what really he was getting alien into. Takeover, Luckily, but he's no ordinary stuntman. Close enough. Fans think my moves are all wire work and special effects. I am the special effects. This guy's trained all across the world. He's mastered four different martial arts, including Bruce Lee's real-life Jeet Kune Do. He's got nunchucks, brass knuckles, and his wicked cool Bowie knife. So when it came time to save the world, Cage could certainly hold his own against the greatest martial artist in the universe. Good thing, too. The lightning god Raiden really needed some help. Because the Outworld Warlord yeah, Shao Kahn was just one tourney win away from taking over Earth. Okay, seriously, why does everyone always target Earth? I live here. It's not that great. Against the forces of evil, Cage discovered he was more adept at this sort of thing than even he expected. He possesses a mystical power passed down through generations, originally stemming from a Mediterranean war cult which bred and trained combatants to fight among the gods. Uh, sure, that's not random yeah, at all. Like, this power hey, manifests power not that... just as a shield against divine forces, hey, but also as a mythical fight. energy cage can waiting. weaponize. He can fire yeah, shadow bolt energy yeah. balls, punch you to pieces with a shadow uppercut, do a guile impression with the eclipse kick, and knock the shit out of you <laughs> with his patented shadow kick. But even with these powers, Cage is still a mortal man. Whenever he found himself in trouble, he needed a go-to technique to get out of it. Oh, and he Ooh, came up with the absolute perfect move. Style. It's the Nutcracker, Ooh. the Berry Buster, the Infertilizer, the Beanbag Barrage, the Not That Kind of Blow Blow, and my personal favorite, the Health Doctor, I think they're in my ribcage special. That's horrifically disturbing. It's inspiring, Sick. that's what. He's strong enough to rip your whole body apart and send your Johnson flying off to another country. Fatality! Oh, God, <laughs> what the hell? This isn't my first rodeo. Despite Man. Cage's crude and wow. juvenile behavior, Smooth. he proved worthy enough to be a champion of Earthrealm. The dude's strong enough to chop through a human head, a chunk of titanium, and even diamond. Applying the density of diamond, crushing some of this size would require nearly 50 million joules of energy. That's like getting hit by 26 monster trucks at the same time. Cage is quick wow. enough to dodge point-blank automatic gunfire and tough enough to power through Sub-Zero's ice blast, which stops or even kills most people instantly. He's breaking those jumps apart like they're made of glass. Johnny even beat the shins off Shinnok, who's a freaking god! Thanks to his ancestral powers, which seem specifically tailored for this exact purpose, which is pretty remarkable. Shinnok's full power is a and bit tricky to lock down, but too. he's pretty similar to Raiden, who fired a blast that obliterated this huge temple along with his enemies. So it's definitely a desperate max power move. As Buddhist temples typically avoided wow. the use of stone in construction, we took the typical composition of wood and concrete into account while measuring the structure to determine this blast must equal nearly 270 tons of TNT, more than enough to level an entire city block. Damn! Who cares if Johnny's a pain in the ass man? when he can compete with yeah, power right. like that? Well, he wouldn't be a pain forever. Cage eventually found happiness with a family, including a daughter just as skilled as he is. He even earned new success in his film career with a series based on his adventures. But he never got tired of defending Earthrealm from the forces of Ugly. God bless that beautiful man. <laughs> Those were $500 sunglasses, asshole. <laughs> oh. Literally, best of Johnny's Cage moments. <laughs> it's the year 2560, and the world's gone oh, cool. crazy! Aliens are everywhere, we're traveling through space, and best of all, there's a brand new sporting town! An intense mix of high-speed racing with anti-gravity techno what's this This is F-Zero! So much better than NASCAR! You seem pretty chipper. Well, yeah! F-Zero's freaking awesome! Why don't we have this in real life yet? Probably because it's extraordinarily dangerous. On the F-Zero Grand Prix, one wrong turn can end your life. Yeah, Which what's your problem? Often? The ones that survive are the best of the best, including the champ himself, Captain Falcon. Yes, to most of the world, Falcon is a legendary yeah. racer and there. household name, but, but yeah. that's about it. Otherwise, a he's a mystery. Like Batman. Sort yeah. of. Off the track, Captain Falcon is actually an accomplished bounty hunter. 
dedicated to a mission of saving the universe from the vile forces of Black Shadow. Is that like a <laughs> heavy metal band or something? No. Well, then, Dim. Black Shadow is a cold-blooded king of crime, determined to bend the universe to his will. He has also got horrible taste and style. How often do you think that thing gets caught on door frames? Truly the most evil of evils. To take on Black Shadow, Falcon's a goddamn badass. He's super tough and super skilled in martial arts. Best of all, he's got a bunch of fiery super moves. The speedy Falcon Kick, the unpredictable Raptor Boost, and Falcon Dive, where he humps people so hard they explode. What? Just calling it like I see it, Wiz. Either way, as impressive as these techniques are, they pale in comparison to his greatest and most famous. Falcon! Shogia moves. He literally punches people so hard they explode in bird-shaped fire, which is awesome. But how? Well, as evident from his other techniques, he's not pleasure. moving so fast he's igniting the air or anything like that. Rather, Falcon seems to possess some limited form of pyrokinesis. And while the reason for this has never been specifically explained, the answer may lie within his sleek F-Zero machine, the Blue Falcon. Oh yeah! This baby uses magnetic and G-diffuser tech to rocket over 1,500 kilometers per hour. That's more than 35 times faster than the Bugatti Chiron Sport, the fastest car in the world. But when he wants to push the Blue Falcon even <laughs> further, Why's he taps into track? its hidden reactor might. Now you might be asking, what's a reactor might? Oh, you know, nothing much. Just a magic piece of the Big Bang that burnt all of existence! You think there are better uses for a fragment of creation than powering a race car? No, I don't, Wiz. Have you seen what this thing can do? With the power of the reactor, might the Blue Falcon can go Beyblade with a move called Boost Fire. Check it out! The Blue Falcon becomes a deadly energy buzzsaw spinning so fast that it increases speed and can even fly! A reactor might is bonded with its owner and can even be called upon from a great distance away. Therefore, Falcon can summon his vehicle to his side at any moment. Reactor might pile up a ton of raw power. Put a few together and you can rip holes through dimensions. This one by itself went haywire and blew up this space station in one blast. Based on the space station's size and the ensuing blast radius, this explosion must have held a yield of over six megatons of TNT. Oftentimes, reactor mites also grant their owners a variety of superhuman powers, some even bordering on unexplainable magics. While it's technically unconfirmed, perhaps the reactor mite under the Blue Falcon's hood is the source of the captain's curious pyrotechnics. Who cares? He can punch a giant fire falcon of burning death, and that's all that matters. Like when he finally beat Black Shadow once and for all. Did he just explode the galaxy? Hell yeah. Well, don't get the wrong idea. Uh, hey, come on, I thought I got Widow's thing. Man. Seriously, we're at the best part of our Falcon's epic takedown in the anime series. So now we're kind of up, but come on. Ugh. Hey, commercial! Sometimes. Okay, hurry up. Back in the fight. Back in the fight. Hey, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Ah, stop messing with me. Well, don't get the wrong idea. This blast of light actually originates from the exploding dark matter reactor, which has the power to rewind the Big Bang using all six reactor mites. It's Hang a long on. story. I think there's a glitch in the recording. Uh. Did he just explode the galaxy? There you go. Hell yeah! Well, don't get the wrong idea. This blast of light actually originates from the exploding dark matter reactor, which has the power to rewind the Big Bang using all six reactor mites. It's a long story. Oh, that's way less epic. Still, even beating up Black Shadow is super really impressive. Epic. This guy could tank hits from a hulked out super alien no problem. Falcon's quick enough to take out multiple enemy robots in the blink of an eye, a feat which would require moving faster than sound. He can spot a sniper from several miles away and even survive an exploding rocket. His exact clone took multiple blows from specialized military personnel with no effect whatsoever. And as a bonus, Falcon carries dynamite powerful enough to blow up this giant weather machine. That's like a hundred sticks of dynamite in one. Where do I get me some of that? And whoa, wait a minute, that guy survived? While Captain Falcon did accomplish his mission and rid the universe of Black Shadow's tyranny, it took more than one man to do it. 
Oh, great. Here comes the power of teamwork bullshit. No, no, no. I mean, Falcon is literally more than one man. Go on. The yeah, name what? Captain Falcon is actually a title passed through generations. To date, at least three people have claimed the moniker. Douglas J, Andy Summers, and Ryu Suzuku. Each new inheritor is chosen by the current Falcon, who seeks a worthy hero who can surpass him in skill and ability. So technically the latest to take the title, Ryu, should be capable of anything the others could do and more. New life goal unlocked. Wiz, oh. I'm putting in my two weeks notice. While the man behind the mask may fall, okay, Captain Falcon will always ride cool on, enough. defending the galaxy one raceway at a time. And here's the epic moment again. Can't really talk All right, the scene. combatants are set, and we've run the data through all possibilities. But first, let me tell you how to make your computer more anonymous than Captain Falcon with ExpressVPN. While researching characters and exploring the far corners of the internet, my own privacy is extremely important to me. And this is important stuff, but you can watch that at any own. For now, wow. Okay, a lot more feats than, than I originally thought. It's hard to say who will win this fight now. Though, I, first I was leaning to Johnny Cage, because, you know, fatalities and stuff, but... Yeah, Captain Falcon is proving to have more more his belt than and does his anonymous name. Even and have sound generations? <laughs> wow. That's actually a surprise. Hmm. But yeah, there was a team involved, but still that's extremely impressive. But I'll just say a uh, time for now. That's but cool. right now, it's time for a dead battle! Wow, I just timed that right that time. Nice. You recording? Yeah? Okay. We're at the F-Zero Grand Prix, snagging some clips for my latest flick. That guy there? That's who I'll be playing. Yeah, you're looking Seriously? at the next Captain Falcon. It's gonna be a pretty sweet gig hey. for him. Did you say you're the next Falcon? Uh, yeah. Only one who can surpass oh, Falcon can become Falcon. That's so a, move. a big misunderstanding. Oh. You want to go? Let's dance. Wait, you just kept that on his suit? Okay. Nope. Uh. Hey. Move, oh, don't forget, that giant did play the full really got clean that one. Johnny did. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Johnny. Woo. What, really? Oh, that's zero. Really? The sports dancers enough, guys. You sports types really take audition seriously. Seriously. Okay, they're probably gonna be on an F Zero. Can't get cooler than that. So cool. Agreed. Ooh. Whoa! Wait. Hey. Try using the street warping into his advantage. Wow. The guy's actually brains too, you know. Woo! What are we gonna do when the F Zero's gonna come in any moment, though? <laughs> um, am I good enough for you now? Come 
Okay, that, oh, was... that was awesome. Okay, yes. uh, just chill for a minute. Yes, it was. Johnny Cage certainly held his own against Falcon, with superior martial arts ability and matching mock speeds. But Captain Falcon Ooh. wasn't a pushover and had plenty of experience with tricky opponents. Most of all, I mean, he had way more power games, on his side. Man. Let's compare some of Johnny's best stuff. feats to Falcon's, specifically Crushing Diamond in the Falcon Punch. Yeah, when he hit that tough son of a bitch, Black Shadow. By measuring the area of effect and comparing that space to the heights of Captain Falcon and Black Shadow, we found that the electricity covered an area of about 300 cubic meters. Accounting for empty space, the amount of electricity needed to fill this area must equal at least 151 billion joules of energy. That's, That's the same as dropping 12 elephants on old Hornhead here. Hey, and over 3,000 times stronger than Johnny's Diamond Smash. Captain Falcon was tougher, too. He survived a blast from a rocket launcher, but even more notably, he fared better against Black Shadow than Zoda did. You know, that hooked out alien guy who survived the exploding weather machine when he wasn't all hulky? So we can reasonably scale Falcon to Zoda, at least as far as those sorts of physical feats are concerned. Look at that explosion! Based on its size, it's worth around 100 tons of TNT. And while Cage's war cult powers let him survive battling Shinnok, whose power rivals Raiden's 270 tons of TNT blast, recall that this ancestral defense seems specifically tailored to counter such divine forces. A bullet could still put Cage down. Down. It has, oh. and he's even died to lesser foes in alternate timelines. And anyway, Raiden's yes. final explosion Thanks attack too. is nothing compared to the raw power of the reactor might under the Blue Falcon's hood. Numbers aside, this was Thanks. a pretty sure. even match, but Falcon's greater strength, toughness, and fiery arsenal tipped the scales. In the end, Johnny just couldn't finish the race. The winner is Captain Falcon. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Hey, thanks okay, for watching this episode. One. If you want the battle music for yourself, you can get one. it by clicking the link down below. And, boom, and wow. check out that video right over next to Ben's face. I don't even care about... I was wrong on this one. I, I'm actually impressed. Son. <laughs> right, next is... Wow, they're... Are they really going with this? They're really going with this. I thought that was a joke, but... Really? Aang versus Edward? Edward's gonna die. West anime versus is Eastern or anybody or is it Western anime or or Tokyo anime? How do you say that? No, oh, well, it's another match to ask, and I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure Aang will win this, but then again, it's been a while since I've seen a full male alchemist. Very epic egg intro song. Unks. Unks? <laughs> but yeah, that was Johnny Cage versus Kevin Falcon. <laughs> and that battle starts from a misunderstanding. Think, I'm gonna play this guy. You look at the next Falcon. He's just saying that as he's gonna play as you. It's a compliment. And, sheesh. Also, isn't this like decades into the future of the world? <laughs> but then again, that battle makes things work. Or despite the timelines. Alright, so, I'm not gonna question it too much. Still, that's one epic battle. Oh, definitely shows the best of Johnny. Sadly, the best was not enough. And I can imagine Sonya having, like, CS star. But still, yeah, that was epic. Oh man, that was a sprite battle, but that was still all levels of epic. <laughs> oh, man, 
I don't even know where to begin on how crazy that was. Let's see. I definitely enjoyed a lot of the facts, so... Yeah, I say this is a great death battle. Of episodes so far. But we're halfway hey, through this season, so... Oh, oh, it's another half to go. And the next one coming up be Aang versus Edward. Now, from what I do remember, Edward... Or try to revive his mom um, after she died, which ended up costing his brother his body and his and his left arm and right leg. What was his left leg or right arm? And I can't remember. Or details aside, like the guy, he has the thing called alchemy. Is that right? Yeah. But uh, it's basically when you use a special circle oh, and alternate things, change them up. Uh, it's like a special super magic. However, his was so special, he didn't even need a circle. He just touches things. That's like next level old surprise magic there. Aang's, Aang's a chosen avatar. Or as it was passed down out from a reincarnation to reincarnation. And it and, and next in line of each each reincarnation it's always into the next element in of masters. Anx was air. And from air he masters of elements of water, earth, earth and fire. In that order. So, yeah, say, say this is gonna be a tough of one to say. Actually, yeah, wow, <laughs> this battle actually makes sense. Okay, well, I'll contemplate that later. But for now, if you enjoyed the video, oh, well, like and share if you have. Do remember to check out the original source before before checking this video out. And I'll see y'all next time. With that said, gamers, keep on gaming, gamers. Peace out till next time. See ya. Good day. And I really should start trying some of those skins out. Maybe not have zero. Oh, oh, oh. No more crashing, please. <sighs> Bye.